part of uh, Reddit Guitar Jam number eight, <clears throat> we were asked to uh, go through some of the equipment that we've used to get our sounds. And so I thought that I would uh, take that opportunity to sort of explain a little bit to some of the guys that are posting a lot of pictures of the pedal boards that there are other ways of doing things than having lots and lots of things in front of your preamp muddying up the sound before it even gets to the speaker. This is the sum total of my pedal board before the preamp. It's a Boss DS1 distortion pedal. As you can see, tone controls are just about all the way up and the distortion is hardly on. In fact, the volume is turned down too. It's a little below 12 o'clock. And the reason for that is that I'm actually using this mostly as a tone booster or a treble booster. Because uh, some of my cleaner sounds actually involve rolling off quite a lot of the tone control uh, on my RG470 Ibanez. Uh, it's going to be difficult for me to film whilst playing. <laughs> I hadn't really thought this through before I began. But anyway, that DS1 there uh, comes out of the guitar and goes into uh, Jet City uh, 333, which is the uh, the, it's the Jesse 20, which is designed by Soldano. Just over 12 o'clock gain. Everything else is pretty much right the way around, apart from the presence control, because if you do that with the treble booster in, then it, the feedback becomes a real issue. Um, but these are great uh, budget uh, valve heads, and they've really got that Soldano crank. The rest of the um, Signal processing, of course, comes uh, in the mixer stage. Now, for a live setup, I put a, an AKG C1000 in front of this uh, Celestian Greenback, which is in a, a custom cabinet that a friend of mine made out of a 4x12 cabinet. Um, and that get, gets mic'd up and then sent to a mixer where it's split into a stereo signal and sent to the auxiliary buses. And in the studio, I come out of the uh, speaker out on the, the valve head into this rat device here which basically stops the power amp from frying when it expects the resistance of a speaker but only finds, well, or finds that there isn't a speaker plugged in. It's also got a splitter on this so that you can go out to the speaker as well so you can use a DI signal and your mic'd up cabinet as well so you can mic up a cab and have your DI, so you've effectively got three channels once, once you split to stereo at the desk. Once you're at the desk, be it virtual or physical, the guitar comes in here and immediately goes into um, the guitar amp simulator, which this is the one that just bundles with Logic, uh, and it's basically a, a filter. Um, it's laid out as if it's a cabinet, but it's basically a three band EQ uh, with a microphone simulator and a cabinet simulator and some rudimentary microphone placement controls. That's the first thing that happens to the signal when it comes in from the rat. That gets then split to stereo by sending to uh, a delay, uh, which again is just the Logic Audio built in uh, stereo delay. It also gets spent, sent to uh, the Space Designer reverb just to take off that f sort of give it that feeling as if the microphone the virtual microphone is actually in front of a speaker with a little bit of room behind it instead of just direct um, and it also goes into a phaser uh, just for a little bit of Steve Hillich gold dust and the phaser outputs into uh, a delay designer which gives it uh, a kind of an extra room uh, kind of trail all of that gets sent down, instead of into the stereo bus, gets sent down into another auxiliary send which goes into a virtual Fender Tweed um, which again has virtual microphone placement uh, and that's how the, the whole thing gets split into two signals and stereoized and uh, if I could just put the iPhone down for a second um, this is my clean sound, or crunchy clean. Uh, it's, this is the, the single coil um, 
with the volume on like 45%. No distortion pedal, just straight into the uh, virtual desk. The tone control on the RG is also at uh, 50%. If I take that all the way down to zero and put the front humbuckers on. A really nice blues breaker kind of, uh, I guess kind of clapped in cream sort of thing going on. tone control back up with that front pickup still on. Oh, and I put the volume up as well. Back pickup. Sol down or type of a thing, and if I put the front pickup on, to run the toilet off, and put the treble booster on, so there's a multitude of different sounds purely by using the guitar, the tone controls, the volume control, the pickup selectors, and a little bit too much brightness on a standard DS1 Boss distortion pedal. Uh, this is the wonders of using a valve amp and having nothing at all in your signal path other than a simple distortion pedal.